Hello everybody, Brian here from the Cisco UKI Collaboration Technical Team. Today I want to introduce you to AppSpace Digital Signage and how you can configure AppSpace from directly within the WebEx Control Hub. Then I want to show you how you can use a simple device such as this. This is the WebEx Share and this device can actually make any standard screens that you have lying around your offices into smart screens that you can wirelessly pair and share content to via your WebEx app or even a web browser. And since the WebEx share can be managed and controlled in the WebEx control hub, you can even enable digital signage on your screens by leveraging AppSpace directly within the control hub. So now let's have a look at that AppSpace integration that's directly embedded within control hub. Okay, so here I am in my WebEx control hub and you'll see I'm in the devices section and I went to the settings tab. The first thing that now appears in your device settings is the digital signage powered by AppSpace. So this integration enables you to authenticate your either existing AppSpace account, or it enables you to get started by using their free option. So you can connect uh, either your existing or start from scratch with a brand new AppSpace account. The free AppSpace account will be titled their AppSpace Lite account, which means that you'll have limited storage, limited playlists and channel options then you'll see that you actually can enable the AppSpace integration directly here from your control hub. This has already com been completed by myself, but this essentially is a matter of inputting some details and then authenticating your AppSpace with your control hub. You'll see that my integration has been active and authenticated, and now I can actually choose to uh, open the AppSpace portal from directly within control hub. A point to note is that enabling this AppSpace integration will not change any of the config on your existing WebEx devices. This setting only makes it possible to actually apply AppSpace config directly after this authentication process. So just to let you know about that. Okay, so let's open up the AppSpace portal and we can actually have a look at AppSpace itself. Okay, so the first thing we'll see when the AppSpace portal launches is the channels section. So here you can see I've already created a channel called test, but we can easily go and create new channels here. These are essentially digital signage playlists. With your AppSpace Lite account, the one that I'm using right now, this is the free version of AppSpace, you will have up to three channels available to you. Along with channels, we can also go to the dashboard to see the main AppSpace page. We can see a library of content we've already created. We can see devices that we've already registered, users that we've already onboarded, locations we may have created, and some AppSpace usage analytics too. So there's a whole load more other than just digital signage that AppSpace can provide to you. But for the purposes of this demo, I just wanna show you the channels section for digital signage. So I'm just gonna quickly create a, another test playlist and I'll show you how we can easily configure our digital signage content. So I'm just gonna add some content and you can see first off, it'll bring you to the template section. So here you can see that there are a ton of pre-populated templates that you can choose from. And there are also some templates that are not available with your free AppSpace Lite account. You can also choose to upload media here too. Say you wanted to upload a simple image, you could do that here. So just to, create and edit this template. I can just click on one and then you will see it brings me to the editing page. I can easily drag and pull and change the actual card itself. And I can also change the way it's laid out, change the text, etc. Very easy to use, uh, very intuitive. Once I'm ready, I can go ahead and save that. And once I've saved that piece of content, you will then see that it is populated into this channel, which I've created. So test one, two, three is my channel. And then here you can see the content that I've just created. So what I'm gonna do is go back into a channel that I've created already. So here you can see it, the test channel. So here I've created three simple pieces of digital signage. One of them, being a little well-being message, another being a simple quote, and another being a hybrid work made real kind of tag from Cisco. So you can see that this is a card and this is an image, so the type of actual content they're creating. And then to change the way the content will play, we have the uh, access to change the transition, 
change the aspect, aspect ratio, change the duration that the content will play. Um, some of these features are not available to us, but it's very easy to actually configure how the digital content will play out. Now that I have my channel created, I want to actually see how it'll look on my screen. So I can go to the preview section and I can see exactly how the images will appear on the screen. So here I have my well-being image, which will play for four seconds. I have a small little quote, which I put in. The quote says, almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a few minutes, including you. Definitely learned that this year over the lockdowns, etc. And I've just had a simple Cisco sort of virtual background as well. So really, really easy, but three simple bits of digital content that I can I can publish. If I go to the publish section, you can see that there are three sections, devices, users, and apps. So in the app section here, you can actually publish to, let's say the WebEx app and actually share content directly in a WebEx space. In the analytics section here, you can actually see the detailed analytics of what uh, has actually been displayed, the types of content, um, allocation over period of time, etc. So really great analytics built in that you can actually filter down here too. And settings. So if you want to use settings of your channel in particular, permissions and approvals can all be done from within the app space application here. Okay. So that was just a quick overview of how to create a channel, how to maybe publish a channel, preview a channel. What I want to do now is actually log out of this um, app space light account that I have, and I want to go to a full premium account that I have, and I'll show you how I can share content directly to my WebEx share. Okay, so here I'm in my app space premium account. I mean, actually see that I have three different playlists, but I also have created the same playlist that I showed earlier. So here you can see the standard well-being quote and the hybrid work image that I showed earlier, and all at four seconds play. So if I go to the publish section here, we can actually see that I have one device. Uh, this device is the WebEx share, which I showed you earlier. So I have this device published, uh, uh, sorry, registered to AppSpace and actually using this test channel. I can also publish this um, channel, this test channel to the web. So once I copy this link or I can embed it as an iframe, I can actually display this digital content in the form of this channel with these three pieces of slide just by copying this link. Now I want to show you actually, if we look into the WebEx share a bit more, we can actually see that the WebEx share is online. It's in sync, the type of device. So it's the WebEx share, it uses a standard uh, device license, and we can actually get a preview of the content displaying on the WebEx share too. We can see it's the test channel. There are three pieces of content. and We get some additional information such as the network, et cetera. What I want to do now is actually quickly show you how we can use that link that I copied. I mean, actually configure the channel to play directly on the device that my WebEx share is being connected to. So now I'm back in my WebEx control hub. And if I go to devices, I will then see the WebEx share. WebEx share is online. If I click into that, I'm gonna to go to the right hand side here. We can see where we can do our configurations and editing. And I'm going to go to the device configs here. So if I click in here, we can see I can access the digital signage server at the top. You'll see now that it is following the default value. So the actual digital signage is empty. So there's currently nothing being displayed on this WebEx share or the device that it's connected to. But let's say you wanted to paste that web link that we had published in our AppSpace account. Let me save that. Now this is enabling the WebEx share to actually publish that channel directly to the screen that it's attached to.